Welcome everyone. In this fourth lecture I'm going to talk about a new type of uh, electron source which is the lanthanum uh, hexaboride uh, tip or lanthanum hexaboride uh, rod or cathode. So the material is basically LAB6. I have already drawn a picture of the structure of the gun here so I will start with that. So this type of uh, electron source are much better than the previous one the tungsten and I will show you why. So basically what we have here is uh, we, we have this tip or rod and uh, this is basically the lanthanum hexaboride uh, rod and then it's attached to a sort of uh, heat sink which is uh, usually like oil cooled so I just uh, write it down but I will uh, draw a small uh, sketch how this uh, filament or how this uh, rod looks like in reality and it's more easy to see everything. So we have the heat sink, we have the rod itself and then uh, we have this red uh, drawing here, these lines. This is basically a tungsten wire. Uh, so actually there is a coil around the around the lanthanum hexaboride rod and this coil is uh, used to heat up the rod because uh, you cannot uh, heat up uh, the rod in the same fashion as you would do it with the tungsten filament so simply by running current through it so here you heat up the like let's say the environment of the rod and the environment of the rod is basically a coil so you run the current through the coil and then the rod is heated up by the uh, radiation so thermal radiation and also like electron bombardment so this is how you uh, heat it up and uh, then this rectangle around the rod and the coil is basically some sort of uh, heat shield because uh, you only want to heat up the rod of course and not the environment of it and then this kind of uh, curve here is uh, supposed to be the uh, evaporation shield so if the rod is evaporating then uh, it should not contaminate everything in the surroundings so that's why we need that evaporation shield and then uh, these blue lines are basically yeah, the path of the electrons and uh, this is the like the crossover I already showed it in the previous video I think so this is like uh, where the different beams converge and then uh, also this is known from the previous lecture so this is uh, the Reinhardt which can be a cage or a cylinder and then uh, we have the anode here so basically this is the structure and then uh, if we try to see how this uh, rod or the setup looks nowadays is basically there is a, I believe it's a ceramic disc so there is like a sort of disc and then uh, there are like two pillars which are like conductive uh, materials uh, of course they go through this uh, ceramic stuff and then in between these two pillars we have the rod and usually like uh, there is a small piece of wire and then there is a small basket or sort of uh, basket which contains the uh, tungsten wires so the coil and then in the basket uh, we have like uh, we 
have the lanthanum hexaboride uh, tip. And then uh, if we take a closer look, that is uh, more like a cone without a tip. I don't know how it's called uh, precisely, but uh, like it looks like something like that. And then the, the diameter of this uh, is roughly like one millimeter, not nanometer. And then uh, the, the radius here or of this is roughly like 10 to 20 uh, micrometers and this is like a flat top so this is uh, this piece this rod is inside this small holder or basket here so this is how, how it looks like and then uh, we can ask the question like uh, how we should compare this with the previous type with the tungsten uh, filament well uh, one advantage like let's mark it with a plus sign is that uh, it has a better electron density uh, per evaporation rate ratio so that means that this type of uh, electron source has higher electron density and it evaporates less than the previous one than the tungsten. So let's write it down. Uh, better uh, electron density per evaporation. I just abbreviated evaporation uh, rate uh, ratio. Basically, this is the ratio. So this is better uh, than uh, tungsten filament, but there is a uh, let's say disadvantage. These type of uh, filaments or uh, not filaments, sorry, these types of uh, sources require higher vacuum. like uh, 10 to the minus 6th uh, power uh, tor and uh, also there is uh, one disadvantage what I can mention and I already mentioned that that it cannot be heated directly So instead of just simply running current through the piece of material, we have this uh, setup uh, here where we have the rod surrounded by a coil made of tungsten and then that does the job and that will heat up the lanthanum hexaboride, but not by induction. So this is not like you have a conductor and then uh, you heat it up by induction, no, it's uh, radiation. So you run uh, current through the tungsten wire and uh, it is like your light bulb if you don't have uh, an ener energy efficient light bulb then in your light bulb you have a piece of tungsten wire and then it's the same uh, principle so you run current through it and then this will heat it up, it will actually glow if you use it as a light source and then this uh, heat uh, by radiation will be transmitted to the lanthanum hexaboride rod so this is how it works and then uh, we can talk about the operation uh, temperature of this kind of uh, source So it is uh, roughly between, let's say, 1700 to 2100 uh, Kelvin, which translates to roughly, uh, sorry, so 
1427 to 1827 Celsius de degrees Celsius and uh, this is much lower than the uh, tungsten it's just roughly uh, by 1000 degrees doesn't matter if Kelvin or Celsius but uh, it's, it's roughly 1000 <clears throat> and then the bias voltage can be also mentioned so that is uh, also like around 1 uh, kilovolt to 2.5 uh, kilovolts and uh, ah, the current density this is the most important part of this uh, type of sources because uh, this is why we replace the tungsten with lanthanum hexaboride that the current density is much higher so if we take like uh, 1600 uh, degrees Celsius then at this temperature the current density is uh, roughly about 65 amperes per square centimeter and uh, just a reminder if we operate the tungsten uh, at its uh, normal operation temperature which is roughly let's say uh, 2700 uh, Kelvin then uh, the current density in, in, in this case is roughly 1.75 ampere per square centimeter so you can see that we have much higher temperature for the tungsten but still the uh, current density is much lower like one order of magnitude so this is uh, a huge difference already and one uh, other thing is that uh, lanthanum hexaboride has lower work function than uh, the tungsten which means that the electrons come out more easier so that is like uh, now it's W F like work function of uh, L A B six is roughly about two point four electron volts, whereas the work function of tungsten is roughly 4.5 electron volts so you can see the difference and also we can mention the the lifetime so the lifetime of these uh, things uh, it, they are operated in normal conditions can be several uh, hundreds of hours or even more so or even several thousands per hours and then if you have good conditions if you maintain a good vacuum you don't contaminate your uh, chamber you can use one single filament for roughly uh, half a year so that's uh, a very important factor if you try to like save money for example or trying if you are trying not to mess up your device so frequently then it's very important that you don't have to change your uh, gun very frequently because uh, if you don't have to change this frequently then you have less downtime you don't have to struggle with the vacuum because if you open the system and uh, keep it on the air for longer time then you might uh, 
have some problems in the beginning like you have to wait more for achieving the proper uh, pressure in order to operate the machine and uh, of course this is more expensive so like money wise this is like around 1000 uh, US dollars if it's not more expensive a little bit but uh, usually like at least 1000 uh, US dollars for one piece of this and I believe that the tungsten is more cheap so yeah but this this can be used for uh, more time so you don't have to change it that frequently uh, it provides higher current density as I showed it so you will finish some certain measurements quicker because uh, you can measure uh, quicker and uh, you can have better images and better measurements because you have better source this has much uh, smaller uh, spot size for example so that's also very very important because uh, these kind of uh, sources can achieve like 30 to 50 angstrom of uh, spot size even maybe smaller if uh, some manufacturers are good with this uh, let me write it down spot size which is a diameter of course is like 30 to 50 angstrom uh, that's quite small and uh, yeah so in short I think this was all I will try to get uh, some sources from my lab and uh, take some pictures of it so that would be more useful than these drawings but I think this is all uh, about the lanthanum hexaboride sources and in the next uh, lecture I will talk about the field emission gun which is the third type of electron source used in electron microscopes so thank you for listening I hope it was useful somehow and uh, we see each other in the next lecture